The fire gutting everything, nothing salvageable left behind. But in the middle of the devastation is Lucy, the only dog on property to be spared. Regretting my life choices right now, <laughs> running out without gloves, but it is <laughs> freezing. Obviously, you can see the snow out here. I just got my face painted today. I am not Luzelia Caballero. I am representing La Catrina, which is actually the most iconic symbol and símbolo más icónico del Día de los Muertos. This family certainly counting their blessings, just thankful to be alive and now dealing with the aftermath after a car came barreling through their property. It is really chilly. I'm wearing gloves, probably two to three layers, top and bottom, and I'm still freezing. I can see my breath, but it's a great time. I mean, the crowd's dancing, smiling. You can see the stage out there. Even when we were driving in down Loop 202 as we were getting off Elliott, we saw that plume of smoke, and this is why. There are still many unanswered questions, Zach, like did this man have a weapon and how many shots were fired? Breaking news on this election night, former President Trump weighing in on voter issues we've been seeing across the valley. An important reminder that if you're enjoying nature in our state, leave no trace and of course, take care of our trails. Happy birthday to you! My son is Alexander Neville. I love my dolly. Alex was our noise in our house. And now... Oh, the candle! <laughs> Alex will forever be 14. I just want to hold him, like, just want to touch his face. His mom, Amy, says he was a smart and vibrant kid with a bright future ahead of him, but fentanyl taking it all away. That one pill is all it took to take him away from us. At the time, Alex was taking what he thought was oxycodone. His parents were in the dark until one day he opened up. He told us he connected with this dealer through Snapchat and you know it was easily it was very easy to get and it really had a hold on him and he didn't understand why alex came to his parents with a plan he wanted to get better so that following morning i called the treatment place and we told him we were going to get him help that it was going to be okay you didn't know I had no idea how not okay it was going to be the next morning i Knocked on his door and there was no answer and instantly I knew something was wrong. I opened the door to his bedroom and he looked like he was just fell asleep on his beanbag chair. Except for that he was blue and he wasn't breathing. He was cold. Oh my gosh, yes, please tell me those temperatures are uh, kind of following <laughs> those lines. Yeah, until the sun comes up. <laughs>